guys, what's going on? It's Mercy here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. And we are doing something that we haven't done for a little while, and that is a PSA slash BGS submission video. Uh, we used to do this uh, back when we first started the channel and when we kind of stopped just because of the sheer amount of cards that we were sending to both PSA and BGS. Uh, but now we thought we might pick it back up for uh, one particular reason, which we will show you in a minute. Uh, but in front of us, we have a few packages already or package it up uh, ready to go. So we might just uh, unpackage it and show you guys what are the cards that we're sending to both PSA and BGS. Uh, this video is also kind of a test video as well, uh, because we are going to use different services for different cards or different package here. Uh, just to see uh, how quickly does uh, both PSA and BGS would get back to us for selection Selective services mainly to see uh, if the turnaround time that they indicated on their website is still uh, truthful or not. Now, part of the reason why we are doing a uh, submission video once again is uh, because uh, what we have noticed for the past six months or even a little bit more than that, a lot of the cards that have returned back from PSA uh, in PSA 9 in particular, uh, there seem to be uh, scratches on the card for particular corners. So for this card, for example, this was uh, unfortunately one of the cards. And the reason why I say this is as well is if you notice this particular corner here, which is your top, my top left corner, uh, you notice a very notable, notable uh, scratching up the top. Now, uh, I was wondering uh if this was me at the first but i normally don't submit cards if i see very very noticeable scratching on the cards like this so uh this was a big alarm sign for me because uh for those couple of packages almost i would say uh, a good 70 80 percent of the psa 9 have this particular problem it was either on the left corner or in the right corner and i thought i was the only person who was experiencing this uh, but then i caught up with a few friends uh, they also had the same problem where all of their psa 9 or most of their psa 9 had the same scratches uh, on the top or the right, uh, either the left and the right side. And what PSA required us to do is to uh, get a photo uh, of the original card that we sent in, uh, and then to prove that, you know, it was indeed PSA's fault. And uh, this is an on and off problem. Uh, the reason why I say this is uh, because there was a batch that had them, and then the batch uh, didn't have them, and then a batch had them again, and then didn't have them again. And this particular problem, it has been on and off, and we all thought that PSA might have solved this issue. And this particular issue only uh, appears on PSA 9 as well. So uh, that's why uh, it is frustrating, uh, especially, you know, um, uh, you know, uh, if you have sent a card that you felt it was perfect and then came back with this white scratch, it pretty much eliminates the fact that, you know, you'll crack this card open for a resubmission with PSA or any other grading company. So that's why we're doing a submission video. So we track our own record of the cards that we send in uh, just for, um, security purposes uh so uh we realized that these kind of video might not get a lot of views so but the fact that we had to do it anyway we thought we might as well film the process put it online uh maybe this is a bit of an educational video uh, for those who are submitting cards as well so with that said uh, let's go through all the cards that we're submitting to both bgs and psa and uh and see how it goes all right uh, the first lot here uh is cards that i am submitting to bgs now i'm not submitting too many uh, as you can see these are all uh the uh pokemon english 151 uh now these uh are okay uh so you can straight away notice the, the bit of a whitening on that corner with that venus sword there um so that's a little bit concerning uh this charizard here looks really good from my first glance my only worry is this particular corner does look a little bit weird uh but the back itself uh, looks pretty good uh, and then we have the blastoid here so if you haven't seen that video we did an experiment we waited packs and then uh, most of these cards came from there uh, i think this is just a fluff uh on the sleeve on the yep just a fluff there and then uh so this last door also look relatively okay good except for just uh 
a little bit on that corner and then this is an alakazam uh we actually pull to sir in one etb and this is uh, the other one of it so again bit of a chip on that corner uh very noticeable uh so it might get some points deducted unfortunately uh and then we've got the erica's uh, invitation here also look quite clean for my first glance uh so not bad at all so these are the cards that we are going to be submitting uh to bgs we might actually swap this out i'm pretty sure that it, this is on card so we might actually swap this uh, venusaur out with another venusaur um because we are all, we as you guys may have known we pull a couple of these um so we might have to do or we might do a quick swap all right from this point on with all the cards that you see will be going towards to psa but with a uh, different type of service so i'm just looking at the chat now this is going to be a regular service 75 dollars which is quite expensive uh i think the turnaround time just looking at it is 10 days uh so it might take up to two to three weeks for it to get back to me of course because we have to send the cards to a psa and that will take a couple of days and then for them to send back to me as well um we have three cards here and uh first of all is this uh game boy promo uh dragonite uh we've sent it a few of these in the past and always get stuck on the psa 9 so hopefully uh we'll get uh better than psa 9 this time uh so yep so uh we bought we actually bought this card from japan and i was really shocked at the quality because how good it was uh so we bought it and then give it another try hopefully we'll get a psa 10 this time and then we've got a Gengar level X here. Now, I hope we get a PSA 10 on this. Uh, PSA 10 is around $1,000. Um, PSA 9 is about a $500 uh, ballpark estimate. Um, and we actually had, or have had this card for, uh, a little while now. And now if you see any scratches, you think it's on the card, it might be just because of the uh, card savers. And my only concern for this card, uh, obviously being an older card, 2009, so there, there will be a possibility of pop control, so they don't want um, any more than it is in terms of uh, the degrading. Uh, it is a little bit, a little bit off-center in terms of the, the, the true sides, a little bit off, but otherwise, I don't really see any problem major problem with the with the card so either way getting a nine or ten i'll be pretty happy with it and then we've got this one here uh this one i traded a bunch of uh uh what's this card for it uh at the world champs actually so we've got this um again a little bit nervous uh i mean from my naked eye this card looks pretty good uh, no alarming sign if anything you'll be the dusk uh, on the on the sleeves or anything so nothing majorly concerned for me uh, for this particular card so that's why uh, we decided to use a uh, better value service uh, 75 dollars turnaround turnaround time is 10 days and we'll see how it goes all right the next batch we have here we're using the 40 dollar uh, service which should be the value plus surface uh so just again to give you guys some of the idea the cards that we're sending in we've got uh, again this is a card that we bought in japan uh purely for this particular experiment actually uh so this is the mewtwo battle fiesta 2015 if you uh, get a point uh from this particular tournament you can exchange it for this card uh, another card that we bought uh, sorry we have to show the back as well we're just gonna make sure we show the back as well uh, another one here is the Charizard from the Radiant Collection. Uh, again, we bought this in Japan, thought the condition of it was quite nice. Uh, again, unless for my naked eye, uh, there's something wrong. Uh, another one here, which is a Sapporo's Pikachu here from the Pokemon Center promo. Uh, again, showing you guys the back. And then we have uh, the Yokohama Pikachu, uh, which is not the World Champs one. It's just uh, when they open up the store in Yokohama, the um, uh, and with the with the Pokemon Center logo looking very nice. Uh, again, hoping these will all come back at least sort of nine or tens. And then for this uh, Erica's uh, invitation uh, that we pull from the Japanese one five one. Only concern is the sides that are a little bit uh, off centered. 
uh, again, uh, hoping uh, we would get some high score. Oh, normally off centered, not crazily off centered. Otherwise, if I wouldn't be sending the cards in. The next cell of services is uh, value. Uh, so the one that just passed was value plus, supposed to be turnaround time 20 days. This one here is just value $25 uh, per card, and the turnaround time is 65 days. And we'll show you the cards that we're sending in. Uh, Pokemon 151, a Alagazam here. Uh, the Mew here, two Mew cards here uh, that we pull. Um, one of them was graded 9.5 from BGS. We cracked the case open. For, we'll see if we can get a PSA 10. Again, probably just want to make sure we show the back. Uh, and then uh, this one, we pull the gold uh, Charizard here. Uh, so from uh, Rule of the Black Flame, I don't think we pulled this on camera so and then we have the true venusaur here so i think uh it's checking this one also have a bit of a flat. So actually indeed all of them have uh, the corner are great so we might actually really consider uh reconsider whether or not we want to submit this because the uh this one here the corner aren't great so you can notably see the whitening there uh, i'm pretty th sure that's on card and this one here aren't great either so uh both of them aren't great so this actually these two uh even worse than the one that we were sub submitting to psa so we might actually pull these two out and we'll have a think about it uh, of course we don't want to be wasting money uh if we know the cards are not gonna remotely um get a chance at, at psa 10 and the next lot here uh because we are a collector's club member at psa we're using the 15 dollar service uh now the turnaround time again should they say is 65 days um in my experience any of the bulk and the value stuff usually takes more than 65 days so again just quickly showing you guys uh the cards that are in these true uh piles uh will be a mixture of uh different cards um so first off we've got uh, true dragon ball cards here we've got a trunks time regulator um and then we've got uh goku here transcendent so this is when i was just sorting out my cards uh and then uh, these will happen to uh to came across and then obviously wanted to grade them now these two blue eyes here um Again, graded it with BGS, came back, both came back 9.5. So we're going to try our luck with uh, with PSA. Now, a bunch of these cards, again, uh, they uh, came back 9.5 with BGS. So we're going to see uh, whether or not we can get PSA 10 uh, on some of these. Uh, fingers crossed. So uh you guys would have seen should have seen these cards before the iron man here uh this one here again came back 9.5 the signature from the Kota, kodagawa series uh and then we've got some white swaps uh white swaps uh, chainsaw man card to just keep skip a memory a bit there um so a couple of these as well and then a 10th anniversary sort out online and then there's a couple of these old school uh, Japanese um, Digimon cards here that I picked up. I'm not sure about the grading on these. I've uh, never graded any of these. And they seem to be good enough condition. And I think if we get a 10 on these, a couple of these will be great. Uh, if we don't, so be it. Um, and it was really actually really hard just to find the names and for these as well. Uh, so... Uh, and then we're coming in through some of our at uh, one piece cards. So this is uh, Bibi here. Uh, this is a uh, Coco promo. Uh, and then we have uh, Hancock. Now this is again greater nine point five with BGS. So we're gonna we crack it open uh, and see how it goes. Um, and then uh, again these ones here, all greater nine point five with BGS. Uh, cracked it open again. And then making sure, and hopefully, uh, we uh, do better uh, this time around. I'm just going to make sure we uh, put them back into the order. And then a couple of Luffy's uh, that we pull uh, from our, uh, our OP05 opening. Um, there, unfortunately, no manga art, no signature. Uh, but a couple of good ones here. So 
might as well uh, submit them. Uh, we can wait on these uh, in terms of uh, they come back to us. Uh, probably most of these are going to be more of a PC personal collection piece rather than uh, putting them on sales. I do put cards on sales on um, with PWCC, so if you ever guys uh, wanted to check them out, let me know and I can direct you guys there. Um, and then uh, some Union Arena cards here. Uh, we open a few boxes and we open an entire case actually. So a couple of the goodies that came out of it. And then we uh, we wanted to gray and got this action point card looking very nice. Um, and then uh, Precious Memory. Uh, just came across these cards online and I thought these were pretty cool. Um, anytime you can get some prize card, uh, signature card. Uh, so these uh, Bakemono Gattari, which is a anime in Japan, which I really liked. Uh, so we thought I thought I would get a, a couple of these as well. Which is great. Uh, and then uh, this is uh, Gundam Base, uh, Arsenal Base, Gundam Arsenal Base, which is, if I remember, it's like a trading card games um, slash machine game as well. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, these are promos. Uh, LMB is uh, one of the characters from Gundam G Fighters series, uh, and she pilot a noble Gundam. Really like a, the Gundam that looks like Sailor Moon. Anyway, that's a big Gundam head of me talking there. Um, and then a repass here. Just uh, this one again submitted to uh, Watch Watch. Uh, sorry, submitted to BGS before and didn't get the grade that we want, so we'll give it a try. BGS as PSA. Uh, and then a couple of these old school 2010. Uh, 2010 uh, Pokemon cards, uh, Holo, absolutely loved that Holo pattern uh, in that particular era. Um, two of these, uh, you Nagabawa, Nagaba uh, e Evolution promo, bought this in Japan. The stupid story is that I didn't realize I have Flareon already. Uh, the only one that I was missing is Jolteon, so I bought multiple copies of Flareon. Um, so we'll grade it anyway and so we're not we're hoping to get the whole set and then try to grade it in in order um a shining uh jirachi as you guys know jirachi is one of my favorite pokemon up there with umbreon so we got one of these now this card um has a bit of a story um Basically, uh, while we were in Yokohama, I think I don't think that video is out yet. Um, and while we were in, while we were in Yokohama, uh, Pat Flynn, uh, Deep Pokemon Monster, was doing uh, one of his challenge, and then we swapped one of our cards with this. Uh, so uh, this came from Pat Flynn, and hopefully we'll get a ten and uh, tell him the good news. Uh, and then uh, just continuing the theme of uh, Pokemon cards here. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary again a couple of these charizard cards uh you would have seen uh because we uh opened it up, uh from our bgs uh we've got a venus uh bulbasaur charmander uh and then a squirtle here so and then a couple of uh the ar from pokemon 151s we've got a side we've got a couple pikachus here uh, Pikachu's, I think we've submitted three. Most likely, we're gonna get either one or two PSA ten. Um, reason being, some of them aren't the best in terms of centering, but I don't know if sometimes they pick it up or not. So Snorlax here, uh, and then a Mew true Mewtwo here. Um, there it is, true Mewtwo, and then uh, true caesar here caesar being a uh, one of the more popular pokemon uh, we've got two copies here a cleffa this card is absolutely amazing uh the peak here we go uh, i don't know why these cards are like this but they shouldn't be uh, but, uh true um the chinese version uh of the 151 so true mewtwo here um here we go and then true pikachu here we go uh, and then uh, again, these two were part of the BGS submission, came back 9.5. So, we're going to try our luck uh, with PSA again. So, with that, that's our submission uh, for the upcoming cards. Uh, we probably have to go into the system and and uh, change those Venusaur cards. I 
don't think we're going to be submitting those Venusaur cards. Uh, we, we'll, we'll further review it and let you guys know. Uh, with that said, that's the end of the video. We're purely just doing a bit of a submission video uh, for our own due diligence and security and a um, bit of information for you guys as well. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me what cards to grey, what cards to buy. And I hope this submission video really much just proved to you, you know, what kind of cards I'm interested in and what kind of cards I'm buying and grading. Cards that I like, uh, cards that I uh, want to keep in my PC uh, and cards that I think or potentially a value if I resell it. That's how I generally go about in terms of uh, grading. Let us know in the comment section what your thoughts and feedback are. We'll probably continue to do some of these uh, submission videos uh, just, again, for our own safety, uh, due diligence, and, uh, and, and record. With that said, um, if you are opening up some cards today, or if you are getting some grades back, uh, may the God of Pools and Grades be with you always.